This video will go over how to do a manual backup and restore of the HIP Firebird database for your Horizon HIP server. So the first thing you want to do is stop the dynamic indexer. And we have a shortcut here to a bat file that will stop the indexer. Enter exit if applicable. Enter exit for your dynamic and your index server. Bring up your task manager. We're going to be looking for some Java applications, but before we do that, we need to launch our services. And we need to stop three services in this order HZ search, HZ app. And HZXSL. So we want to stop HZ search. HZ app. And HZXSL. With our three HIP services stopped, we can now proceed to our task manager and verify there are no Java EXE processes running. If there are, we have to stop them, and then we can go ahead and back up our Firebird database. As you can see, there are no Java EXE processes running, so we can go ahead and proceed to back up our Firebird database. So we don't have any Java EXE processes running. We can open the IBO console. Okay, so now we've launched the IBO console. We want to double click on local server. Here is where you put in your specified Firebird username and password. Or please refer to your documentation for those settings. Okay, now we want to go to database, maintenance, backup and restore, backup. Because we're making a backup before we restore. Now this part's pretty much automated. The alias is already predefined. I want local server. For doing a backup of your HIP database, you want to select local server. Alias, you can put pretty much whatever you want. And for the file name, be sure to specify the exact path uh, where you want it to go. You should typically refer to your HIP documentation for that information. The settings on the right, just leave those alone. You shouldn't have to edit those at all. But the format, you want it to be transportable, meta only false, garbage collection true, transactions in limbo process, checksums process, convert to tables false, Purpose output to screen. Once you've specified your alias and your path, you can hit OK to back up the database. So our database backup is complete. We can close out of there. Now we want to go to our data directory. So what we want to do is we want to copy the file we just made and paste it in backup directory and rename it to uh, whatever we just backed up the file name to and put a 
old behind it. Uh, this is because when we go to restore, it is going to use the file name we used for the backup. And we don't want it to overwrite the backup. Now we're going to go back to the IBO console and restore the database with the backup we just made. We want to go database, maintenance, backup and restore, restore. So for the alias, we want to put the IPAC admin backup for the alias. So we're going to go file. Oh, we need to change our uh, file type. Make sure that you change your file type to all files because we're doing a dot backup. You won't see it if you're just looking for the typical extensions. you want to restore to the local server with your alias that you can specify. We want to put our pathing. And then byte size we want to leave at 4096, overwrite false. Um, commit after each table false. Create shadow files true. Deactivate misses false. Validate. Uh, restore false into screen. Okay. Then it restores the file. We watch for any errors. Database restore is complete. Now we can completely close the IBO console. Now we want to go to our services and we want to restart the Firebird Guardian service. It's recommended that you stop, wait a few seconds, and then start the service again. So we're going to count to 10 and then start. And then we can restart our HIP services starting with HZXSL. HZ app. And HZ search. Then we can start the dynamic indexer and we'll verify that HIP is back up and running using the browser. You'll want to first start the index server and then start the dynamic indexer. And now we verify that HIP is running properly. And it looks like it is functioning properly. Just do a quick search.
And it looks like it's working just fine. And that is how you do a backup and restore of the Firebird database for HIP. I hope you found this tutorial informative and useful.